Good morning guys, it is Monday, May 7th and today I have no clue what we're doing just yet and also excuse the hair because I just had a shower um, but Jordi has removed some paint uh, at the back of the van because we have to connect the electric circuit to the van to ground it so you can see the spot where Jordi removed the paint in which a bolt can go through and there we can uh, connect the electric circuit to the van um, and that will uh, help for extra safety and I'll explain it later when the entire thing is installed and he'll be using this cable to do that out uh, the wardrobe and placed a lot of dots on the shelves and on the structure at the top of the wardrobe and those dots will now be pre-drilled so that we can insert some hooks so these are the hooks that we bought and they will hold the bungee cord after they are inserted in these small uh, holes that will have to pre be pre-drilled and this is the bungee cord color that we went for we initially wanted something that looked similar to the cork or to the wood that we have along the van but we couldn't really find a suitable color so we went for a shiny grey that matches the cooktop, the fridge and the sink but I think that I may have ordered way too little of this bungee cord so we'll see if this is enough uh, it should be enough for this part of the wardrobe but the uh, part that we want to use for our cutlery and, and cooking stuff uh, it might not work for it might not be enough um, so we'll see installing the bungee cord on the wardrobe and we're now thinking about how if we will leave it like this because it's very tight even though it feels very loose it is incredibly tight and it pulls on the beam there and on all of the shelves um, so we're also considering um, leaving the first one like this and then instead of going up straight away we'll take that one and going back and doing that um, but we're not sure if that's clever but other than that we're very happy that we went with bungee because it looks good it really looks nice I will uh, give you a proper overview of uh, how it looks uh, tomorrow probably because then we have better lighting um, and then we will have decided what we're doing um, but I'm very happy with it so we left a bit of extra length um, so that we could loosen it if we wanted to um, and Jordi is now checking how it will look if we uh, 
take the different pattern so he'll take out a couple of rows and then uh, check what that will look like uh, during the day today Jordi worked on installing the fuses so that you can see those are installed here and he also connected the negative wire to the metal frame of the van for extra safety so we are just going to ask Jordi's mum what she thinks because um, it's very difficult to decide, to decide this because one of the uh, this option is very tight, meaning that it's difficult to access the top and the bottom, but it's also very uh, it it does put quite a strain on the wood. Uh, but this is obviously less tight. Um, the strands are less uh, close to each other, so it might not hold the items enough. But since it will be holding clothing, it shouldn't have to be too tight. Yori's mom popped in and she had a different idea. So we were thinking either going up and down from hook to hook or going down, taking two hooks, going back, two, back, two. So you either have a small or a big difference in this distance. And then um, it would be a little bit less strong uh, attached to the ceiling if we would have used the wider method. But uh, she suggested doing both. So two hooks. Two hooks, one, two, so that would have a, um, some larger gaps and some smaller gaps. And we tried it out for like a third or like a fourth of the wardrobe and it looked amazing. So, <laughs> Jordi is now taking everything out and it's taking a very long time. Um, it's nearly done. <clears throat> And the cord is now all knotting up, so that's a bit difficult. Um, it was uh, easier at the start, of course, because it came on a roll, but now it's just all bundled up at the bottom. Um, but once we're done, we hope to be able to film another time-lapse, if the camera battery allows it.